Welcome to my YouTube channel again. So here today we are going to discuss regarding 2019 all-level science MCQ paper. Okay, let's move to question number one. First question, liver is a, right? So you all know liver is a organ, right? So if you take specifically, it is a second largest organ in the body, right? First largest organ in the body is skin. So we should be correct, easy. Second one, to maintain balance of which of the following cycle is biological fixation is important. So you know, uh, biological fixation happens mainly when atmospheric nitrogen is converted into ammonium ions, right? So that is happening in nitrogen cycle. Answer number two. Okay. The next one, which of the following quantities is a vector? It's a vector quantity. Vector quantities are the quantities which have a magnitude and a direction. Okay. So when you take displacement, it's a vector quantity, right? And the other three answer, distance, pressure, work, those are scalar quantities. Those have only magnitudes. Okay, fourth question, which of the following molecule is composed of highest number of atoms? So when you take CH3, CHO, all together CH3, 4, CHO, and L3, all together seven atoms. CCL4, CCL4, all together there is only five atoms. Here H2SO4 altogether seven atoms. But in urea, NH2 twice. That means NH2 two times. So we have here NH2 is three, three into is six, plus two is eight. So most length number of atoms present in fourth answer. Fifth one, a rough sketch drawn by a student by observing an underground stem is shown below. Which of the following type of underground stem does this belong? Okay, so you can see. This is a ginger, right? So ginger is mainly belongs to rhizome. So answer should be first one, right? So when you take comb, uh, examples for comb, you be gluted yam, be gluted taro yam, and also coco yam, right? Those are examples for comb, right? And also when you take examples for bulb, you can take leeks, onion, right? When you take examples for stem tuber, you can take uh, potatoes, and then you can take inala, equal to scolius potato, likewise. Okay, so rhizomes, some examples for rhizomes is one is ginger that is shown in the diagram, other ones are you can write turmeric, then you can write canas, arat, likewise. Okay, the next one, sixth question, which of the following structure function pairs indicate the correct relationship? First one, structure is blood plates, function is production of antibodies. That's wrong, right? For blood plates, mainly it initiates blood clottings for blood plates. So first one is wrong. Second one, white blood cells transport of oxygen. Wrong. Red blood cells transport oxygen. Right? So second one is also wrong. Then red blood cells phagocytosis. That's also wrong, right? White blood cells in, uh, involved in phagocytosis. The third one also wrong. Fourth one, blood plasma. Transport of form. Now that's correct, right? Normally, plasma, blood plasma mainly transports so many things, excreted products, in gases, hormones, ions, glucose, minus it, so many things are transported by blood plasma. Let's move to question number seven. The relative atomic mass of iron is 56. Thus, which of the following statement is correct statement? Okay, so if the relative atomic mass is 56, if you put gram per mole, that will be the molar mass, right? So here, the mass of an iron atom is 56. That's wrong, right? Iron atom, no. One mole of iron, uh, that will be correct. Iron atom is wrong. A mole of an iron contains 56 iron atoms. That's wrong. One mole always contains Avogadro number. That means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms. So that's also wrong. Third one, the mass of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 iron atoms is 56. Now that's correct, right? Because this Avogadro number contains one mole. One mole means it's 56 grams. So the third one is the answer. Let's read fourth one also. Mass of 56 ion atoms is six one. That's wrong, right? 56 ion atoms does not weigh even one gram. That's wrong. Seventh one answer is third. Question number eight. Which of the following molecule is made up of two covalent bonds, right? So when you uh, draw chlorine, it's like this. CL, CL, one bond. When you draw CH4, it's four covalent bonds, right? When you take HCl, it's also one. When you take water, it's double bonded. Okay, so R should be water. 
Ninth, coordination of movements and equilibrium of human body are maintained by. So this is maintained by mainly equilibrium is maintained by cerebellum. So that should be first one. So when you take cerebrum, functions are like uh, perception of sensory stimuli, then perform higher mental activities, control voluntary muscle contractions, likewise. Then when I take uh, function of medulla oblongata, mainly those functions are like controlling involuntary actions and also controlling reflex actions such as uh, what you call sneezing, coughing, vomiting, like. So when you take spinal cord, functions will be mainly transferring the message, neural message, or it provides the path to transport the neural message. Let's move to question number 10. Consider the following statement on various processes taking place in a plant. A. Plants have been carbon dioxide only during night. That's wrong, right? Plants are normal organisms, right? They do respirate in daytime as well as in nighttime. So they uh, emit carbon dioxide in both day and night. So only during night, that's wrong. A is wrong. Second, now, plants emit only oxygen during daytime. That's also wrong, right? If you have a light in nighttime also, it can produce oxygen. So B is also wrong. C. Gases exchange in plant lays mainly occurs through stomata. That's correct, right? It is mainly occurs through stomata. And also transpiration occurs through stomata. Then part D. Gases entering the plant leaves diffuse into the cells through intercellular space. That's also correct, right? Normally, gases diffuse through cells through this intercellular space. So answer is C and D. Fourth one is the answer. Eleventh one. The acceleration due to gravity on Earth's surface is 10 ms minus 2. Acceleration due to gravity on surface of the moon is 1 over 6. The acceleration due to gravity on Earth. If the weight of a man on Earth is 600 newtons, how much in his weight on the moon? Okay. So they have said it is one sixth that of Earth, right? So his weight on Earth is 600 newtons. So weight on moon should be one sixth of that. That should be 100 newtons. You can see below, right? Six times one, six times 100. That should be number two. Twelfth question. The deficiency of which following vitamin causes anemia? So when you take anemia, it's a blood disease, right? So normally blood disease is caused by vitamin D, right? So when you take vitamin A, normally uh, deficient symptoms are regarding eye. That means beta spots in eye, night blindness, like that. When you take vitamin B, it's regarding skin and also regarding blood, right? Because to produce blood, uh, to produce hemoglobin also, you need vitamin B. Then the answer is two. Then we take vitamin E, it's regarding cell division, right? So vitamin mean E deficiency will give you like something like premature births likewise. Then vitamin K is involved in uh, blood clotting. Okay. So if you are deficiency in vitamin K, that will be uh, like delay in blood clotting. Okay. Answer number two. 13. In which part of the female repair system does fertilization occur in human repair? So you know when you take normally I will just draw a rough diagram. Okay. Right. Normally, in the distal one third, the fertilization is occurring. Right. Where the ovum and the sperm gets together and fuse together. Right. So it happens in fallopian tube. Answer number three. Let's move to fourteenth question. What is the mass of glucose required to make five hundred cubic centimeters of glucose solution of concentration one mole per decimeter cube? Okay. So relative molecular mass they have given it as one hundred eighty. Right. So that means for one mole of glucose, you need 180 grams. And so they have asked us to form one mole per decimeter cube. So one mole, you need 180 grams, right? And then one mole per one decimeter cube, you need 180 grams, right? So for 0 0.5 decimeter cube, which is also equal to 500 cubic centimeter cube, you will need half of this 180 divided by 2. So that will be only 90 grams. So answer should be second one, 90 grams. 15th question. The movement of an object during 25 seconds is illustrated by the velocity time graph. They're asking retardation of the object is 2 ms minus 2. What is retardation? It's deceleration, right? Another name for deceleration is retardation. So you can see here, if you take the gradient of the last part, that will be 10 divided by 5. So that will be 2. So that's correct. First one is correct. Second one, displacement of the object is 0. That's wrong, right? Why? There is a displacement. 
Yeah, there's area covered. So if you find this area, you will get the displacement, but it's not equal to zero. Then third one, acceleration of a bridge is 10 ms minus. That's wrong, right? Why? Right? Acceleration is in this part, the first part, right? This part. If you take the gradient of this, 10 divided by 10, y high divided by x squared. So that will be one. That means acceleration would be 1 ms minus 2, right? The next one, the object has moved 20 seconds at a velocity of 10 meters. That's wrong, right? It has not moved for 20 seconds. It has moved only for 10 seconds, from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. That is, the gap is 10 seconds, right? So, you're also wrong. So, first one is the answer. 16 question, in which part of the elementary canal is the enzyme lipase added to food? So, you know, uh, enzymes like lipase, amylase, trypsin, right? Those three are produced by pine trees, right? So, they are added into duodenum. So, ours should be part one, duodenum. 17, given below is the balance equation related to the decomposition of potassium permanganate, that is KMNO4, right? So, they are asking, how much is the amount of moles of potassium permanganate that should be decomposed to produce three moles of oxygen? So, here also you can take the ratio, right? They are asking potassium permanganate and oxygen. So, if you take the ratio, KMNO4 is 2, oxygen is 1, right? If you take the ratio, it's 2 is to 1, right? They ask you to produce 3 moles of oxygen. How much of KMNO4 is needed? So, you can see it's double, right? So, 3 into 2 is 6. So, one should be 6 moles. Fourth one is the answer. 18. There are 3 wires of equal length with Uniform resistance illustrated below are three instances when they are asking they are connected these wires across XY, same circuit where first wire is connected as it is, second wire is cut into two equal parts, and third one is cut into three equal parts. The bulb control circuit lights brightest in, right? For a light to be brightest, there should be maximum amount of current that is passing through the bulb. So, to get the maximum amount of current, what should be happening? the resistance should be very, very low, right? So when you take these three instances, the third instance is having three parallel resistors, right? So when you are connecting resistance in parallel, equal and total equal resistance will be very, very low. So that will cause current to be very, very high. So answer should be instance three. Let's move to question number 19. Consider the following substance. You have solid sodium chloride crystals, then molten sodium chloride, Aqueous sodium chloride solution. Which of the above conduct electricity? Okay, good question. Huh? So, normally, uh, when there is a compound given, you should check for two. One is the compound should be ionic because covalent compounds does not conduct electricity. Right? So, first one ionic. So, all the ABCs, all three, three are ionic. But also, there should be molecules which can move, right? So, solid. Sodium chloride crystals cannot transport electrons. That means it cannot conduct electricity. But molten and aqueous states can transfer electricity. So answer should be B and C. Even though ionic compounds conduct electricity, solid ionic compounds does not conduct electricity. Question number 20. When supply electricity to an electronic equipment, it may get damaged if the source of electricity is connected to it. If the term is reversed. Okay, so they're asking, how a diode should be connected to it to protect from the equipment such as that. Okay. So when you take a diode, right, remember current passes from positive terminal to negative terminal. So when you're connecting a diode, you should connect it the way the current goes, right? So current goes from positive to negative and the diode should be connected as it is, like this. Okay. So correct turn should be from positive to negative, right? So correct turn should be first one. Okay. Positive side, the current should be going and comes from the negative side. So it will be a first answer. But if you take second one, current cannot move here, right? Here also, current cannot move, right? From this part, current can be moved. Therefore, current won't be coming into the electronic equipment also. It will not come. And also, if you take this part, current will be moving from the diode, not from the electronic equipment. So the electronic equipment won't get damaged as wrong. Electric equipment can be damaged because the current, when the current is flowing in reverse direction, right, it cannot move to this direction. What will happen? Electronic equipment will be damaged because the current will go through the electronic equipment when it is reversed, right? 
Okay, so answer number is first one. Question number 21. It was found that a equal solution of compound HA contains H plus, A minus, OH minus as well as undissociated HA. The pH value of this solution is less than 7. Okay, so it has released H plus, A minus, then OH minus as well as HA molecules, right? So this is very important, right? Undissociated HA molecules means that it is a weak one, right? If it is fully dissociated, you cannot find any HA molecules. So if it is strong one, you cannot find any undissociated molecules. So they should be weak. And also it says that pH is less than 7. So it should be an acid. So HA is a weak acid. Answer number two. Question number 22. Several species of animals and the number of animals belonging to each species identified by a group of students in an environment study are as follows. Then we asked to find number of animals which belong to phylum arthropoda. Okay, so when you take snail, it's a mollusca, right? So you cannot take that. When you take a butterfly, it's an arthropod spider, it's an arthropod leech, it's an leech, right? Scorpion is also an arthropod. So all together, four, three, and one. All together, that will be eight. Eight will be the answer. Question number 23. Atmospheric pressure at the sea level is one in 20 power five newton per square meter. The area of the tympanic membrane of man is about five into 10 to the power minus five square meters. What is the force exerted? Okay, so you know pressure is equal to force divided by area. That means you subject force, you'll get pressure into area. Okay, so here the pressure is 10 to the power 5 newton per square meter, and also you have area of 5 into 10 to the power 5 minus 5 square meters. So if you simplify this 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power minus 5, it will be simplified. Answer will be 5 newtons. Square meters and per square meters will also be cancelled. So answer is first one. Question number 24. The power supplied to the primary coil of a transformer, 100% efficiency is 200 volt. If the voltage across its secondary coil is 10 volt, what is the current flowing through the secondary coil? Okay. So when you take a transformer, right? What does current transform do is it either increase or decrease the voltage, right? So they have given power supply is 200 watt in the primary coil and transform efficiency is 100%. That means output power should also be 200 watt. Okay, clear? Right. So they have given secondary coil voltage that is 10 volt. So you can apply power is equal to voltage into current, VI. Power is 200 watt, voltage is 10 volt current type. So simplify and get 0, 0 can be cut. I will be equal to 20 amperes. So answer is 20 amperes. Answer number two. Question number 25. Which polysaccharide contains transcell helps to prevent constipation? Right. So normally our parents are asking us to eat uh, normal green leaves, right? But green leaves, mainly green leaves does not digest, right? Because of this compound that is cellulose. And which indirectly help us to prevent constipation okay so answer should be cellulose right cellulose can be found in plant cell walls even if you can remember cholenchyma cells cholenchyma tissue cells it also contains that corners are thickened with cellulose right 26 what is the constituent mostly present in the urine of a healthy person okay, so when you take urine of a healthy person 96 percent is containing water then 2% urea and also other elements, other uric acids, creatine, and those are in trace amount. Trace amount means very, very little amount. So, one should be water. 27. What is the polymer that contains carbon and hydrogen only as a conventional element? Okay. So, they again first one as vulcanized rubber. Vulcanized means normal rubber is combined with sulfur, right? So, it's not only containing carbon and hydrogen, vulcanized rubber contains sulfur as well. But if it is natural rubber, it contains only carbon and hydrogen. So first one you cannot take because of vulcanized. Then Teflon, you have carbon and fluorine, right? Teflon monomer is like this, carbon, carbon, and four fluorine atoms. We call it as carbon tetrafluoride, okay? Polymer of this monomer is Teflon. And when you take polythene, it's correct, right? Polythene is the polymer of ethene. Which contains only carbon and hydrogen. So answer will be second one. Cellulose, pores, right? Glucose, cellulose. Can you remember? Those are uh, part of carbohydrate, right? 
It's an example for carbohydrate. So carbohydrate mainly consists of CHO, right? The elemental composition of carbohydrate is CHO. So cellulose can be taken. Answer is second one. Question number 28. What is the equipment that works using the force exerted on a current can conductor placed in magnetic field? Right. So when you take moving coil magnetic microphone, that occurs by electromagnetic induction. Transform also electromagnetic induction. Electric bell, there, what is happening is uh, when you supply current, there will be electromagnet formed. And from that magnet, there will be uh, the sound unit. Okay. Fourth one is the remaining one, and that will be the answer. Right. That is the force applied. When you give current, there will be a force applied, and that force will tend to rotate the motor. The DC motor is an example. 29. Select the false statement of the following statements. You have fractional distillation is used to define mineral oils. That's correct. Steam distillation is used to extract cinnamon oil. That's also correct. Third one, solvent extraction is used to extract medicinal extract and poisons and portions. That's also correct. Fourth one, chromatography is used to separate a mixture of volatile compounds. That's wrong. You cannot separate mixture of fertile compounds that is done by fraction distillation. Chromatography cannot be taken. So answer is fourth one. Let's move to question number 30. So they have given a balance equation and they are asking two questions from them. What is the mass of water found when one mole of ethene is subjected to complete combustion? Okay, so always this stoichiometric ratio is equal to the mole ratio, not the mass ratio. Okay, so uh, when you take mass of water found when one mole of ethene, so if I read one mole of ethene, how many water molecules are formed? That is two water molecules, right? So normally, water molecule, the molar mass of water is how much? 16 plus 1 into 2. Altogether, that will be 18 gram per mole. Okay. So if it forms two moles, that means twice of this. So that will give you 36 grams. Answer should be third one. 31st, what is the correct energy level diagram? For the complete combustion of ethene, right? So when you take ethene, combustion of ethene, they have given already something here special. That is, they have given already 1,400 kilojoules in the product side, which means it has emitted energy out, right? Heat energy has been released out. That means it should be an exothermic reaction, right? And also, in the exothermic reaction, the energy level diagram, the arrow should be always downwards. Why? Because energy of reactant should be higher than that of products. So reactant should be on a higher level and product should be on a lower level and the arrow should be downwards. So answer is second one. Here you can see reactants are on the top and then they release energy. So downwards, so they have released energy of how much? 1,400. So you can write it as 1,400 kilojoules. That's why the products are written in downwards position because energy has been released, right? Previous energy, it had 1,400 more. Now, it's 1,400 less. So, I should be second one. Question number 32. There is a greater chance for a man swimming in water with gas bubbles at the base of a water to fall to drown. What is the reason for this? Okay. So, when there is water and when there is gas, right? If you take the differences between upthrust, water can give more upthrust than air, right? If air can give up thrust, what will be happening? We will be floating, right? So that's not happening in normal environment. So here, what will be happening here is when there is air bubbles, when there is gas bubbles, the up thrust acting from there will be very less. So decrease in up thrust will cause to fall down. So on should be second one, decrease in up thrust except by water. Third three, when a sound wave is emitted by a loudspeaker propagates through air, what is happening, right? So you may know, right, when someone is speaking, if the distance is too far, you cannot hear it properly, right? So you say to the lecturer or any other teacher, speak loud, right? So what is meaning by that? You have to increase the amplitude of the wave, sound wave, right? So when you increase the amplitude of the sound wave, it can travel more distance. For an example, when sound wave travels, what is happening here is the amplitude keeps decreasing without changing the wavelength or the frequency, anything won't be changing, but amplitude will be changing, right? So like the example I told you before, we say teachers please speak loud, right? What is happening? Teacher will be speaking loudly, right? Uh, now what will be happening? The wave will be gone much more far away. 
right? Let's say here to here, it's let's say it's five meters. Uh, now the person can hear like 10 meters because the amplitude is so. What happens when a sound wave is passing through your eyes, the amplitude keeps decreasing, right? Because of the energy wastage. So R should be fourth one. Amplitude decreases. Question number 34. Why is limestone added to the blast furnace during iron extraction? So limestone is calcium carbonate, right? What happens here? It is forming calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Mainly this calcium oxide forms slag. So mainly limestone is added to remove impurities of iron ore. That is to form slag. So R should be third. If I discuss the first answer to reduce the iron ore to iron, that is mainly done by carbon monoxide, right? Second, to increase the temperature of blast furnace, it's mainly done by we are supplying heat. And also, it's mainly done by the reaction carbon dioxide plus carbon. It's forming two carbon monoxide. This equation also very, very exothermic. That means it produces large number of heat. Then to decrease the melting point of iron, we are not adding anything. Okay. So iron should be third one. 35. Which of the following has the greatest effect on ozone layer depletion? Right. So you know, you may have listen early stories right in earlier times cfc was used in refrigerators perfumes acs air conditioning right so now cfc gas is not using the reason mainly is it affects ozone layer so i should be first one right ch4 carbon dioxide gas those will not be uh, have a high effect on this ozone layer depletion okay so our main one is first one cfc gas that's why it is prohibited now now normal Refrigerator juices, uh, R600A gas, you may have heard it in ads, TV, etc. Let's move to question number 36. What is the true statement about neon atom and sodium plus atom? So, when you take neon and sodium atoms, I will write it like this neon is 10, 20. 10 means the number of proton is 10, electron number is also 10. Here, the neutron number is also be 10. That means the difference between mass number and atomic number. But if you take Na plus iron, it's 11 and 23, right? Here downwards, you have atomic number. Atomic number is equal to proton number. That means number of protons present is 11. So number of electrons should be also 11. But here it's an iron, right? It has given out an electron. So number of electrons should be 1 less than that of proton. That should be 10. Then when you take neutrons, it is a difference between mass number and atomic number. So, neutron number will be equal to 12, right? So, let's see the answers. The number of electrons in both is equal. That's correct. 10. The number of protons equal wrong. Here it's 10, here it's 11, wrong. Number of neutrons equals no. You see, it's 10, it's 12 here, wrong. So, 2 is wrong, 3 is wrong. Both the number of protons of both is greater than the number of neutrons. That's also wrong, right? Why? Here, uh, it's not greater, right? 11 and 12. Both of them wrong. First one is the answer. Question number 37. Which of the following factor affects the pressure exerted by water on the bottom of a vessel filled with water to a certain height? I have told you before also, when there is uh, water, liquid water, the pressure applied on liquid water, uh, liquid pressure depends only on three factors. That is H rho G. That's how we find pressure, right? So here, height of the liquid column and then rho means density and G means gravitational acceleration. So the answer should be shape of the cell is wrong, volume of force is wrong, area is wrong, it should be vertical height or the density or the gravity. So out of these four answers, correct answer is vertical height. Answer number four. 38, which of the following cells are multinucleated? So red blood cells, they don't have nucleus, right? If you can remember, there are only two cells that doesn't have any nucleus, one is red blood cells, another one is CO2 belly mass. Then when you take number two, white blood cells, it has only one nucleus, but there may be several lobes. Lobes are different from having multinucleus, right? There may be one nucleus and many lobes. Right? That means one nucleus is divided into several parts. So white blood cells, one nucleus. Number three, skeletal muscle cells. So those having multinuclear, right? Because it needs to produce more and more energy. Cardiac muscle cells, it is uninucleated. So answer is third one. Question number 39. The boiling and evaporation are two ways by which liquid water moves into air. That's water vapor. Of the following statement connected to them, which is false. Right. First, let's uh, identify some of the difference between these 
boiling and this evaporation okay you can see here the differences between evaporation and boiling right so when you take evaporation is normally a process of vaporizing of a normal liquid at room temperature normal room temperature but in boiling what is happening here is we are supplying heat and we are bringing the liquid into its boiling point and then we are vaporizing it okay so that's the main difference between these two and also when you take evaporation it can happen in any temperature but when you take boiling it happens only at the boiling temperature right that means 100 degrees celsius in normal condition okay and then also when you take evaporation evaporation occurs from the surface right that's why when the water is spilled what do we do is we just with the broom we just increase the surface area so that it can be and quickly evaporated but in boiling you can't do that right so boiling occurs throughout the liquid right the heat is supplied throughout the liquid every molecule of water will be obtaining heat so boiling will not occur from the surface it occurs from everywhere so next one is when evaporation occurs right it gains the energy of the certain object and then it evaporates right so what will be happening the body will be cooled down right let's say for an example us right as humans right when we do any sports or anything when our body gets heated up there will be sweat secreted right so from this sweat if you keep it for a while what will be happening it will be evaporated right when evaporating what is happening here is it gains the body's energy heat energy it takes it and then gets evaporated right the body will be cooling down that's why we are get sweat but in boiling temperature remains constant right that is at 100 degrees celsius at normal conditions okay and also when you take the last factor you can see it here when evaporation takes place right uh, it mainly occurs because of the uh, unsaturity of the environment right until the unsaturation becomes saturated the water will be evaporated right but in boiling boiling happens when uh, internal pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure that's how you get the boiling so those are the factors so considering those factors let's move on to this question 39 let's move to answers answer number 1 temperature remain constant during boiling as well as in during evaporation that's wrong right in evaporation temperature drops down so first one is wrong then they are asking the four statements so first one is correct second one boiling is a visible process while evaporation is an invisible process that's also correct right why when boiling there will be bubbles going out right there will be what not nakke right so there will be bubbles going up and then uh, from the evaporation side it's invisible it's correct right so the noise correct speed of wind affects evaporation but does not affect boiling what can you say uh, for an example the same example i took it before if the water is spilled right what you are going to do is we are going to increase the surface area and what you are going to do is you just switch on a fan right that fan process or so the speed of wind will increase the evaporation of water vapor so in increase the evaporation but in boiling it does not occur and boiling is lumpy like we are giving heat and then uh, the water is boiling that's all so it's also wrong third one is wrong fourth one temperature of water remains constant during boiling while decreases during evaporation that's correct right so answer should be 1 and 3 so it has two answers so it was given all in this paper either anything is correct according to the marking scheme not normally uh, if we talk about the main ones those are things okay right forty eight question the aim of shortening the food mileage is to let's say direct people more to consume native food get an opportunity to consume quality food then create a greater demand for local produced food and next one minimize amount of fuel spent during transport so main thing is the main aim is to reduce amount of fuel right what will be happening if it is brought from a larger Uh, food mileage there will be so much of energy spent right to bring the food from one place to another right so the main aim to reduce this food mileage is to minimize the amount of fuel spent during transport of food so r should be fourth so we have come to the end of 2019 all the mcq science paper so if you have any question you can just comment below uh, and i will answer to them okay so have a nice day you think my content is useful you can just subscribe and 
recommend my channel to your friends thank you and god bless you